Okay, so now we've got an IELTS Task 1 essay where we're analyzing figures based on the flow of time and we've got a nice bar chart here, which uh, you have to analyze. So let's take a look at the topic. The chart below shows the total number of minutes of telephone calls in the UK divided into three categories from 1995 to 2002. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Okay, so we've got UK telephone calls and it's all in the past, okay? So we know that we should be writing everything in the past tense. And we've got three types of calls. We've got local, national and international, and then we've got mobile phone calls. Mm -hmm. So just by taking a quick scan of this graph, we can see that locals calls gradually went up and then gradually went down. Okay, then we've got national and international calls slowly went up. And then we've got mobiles very quickly sort of had a much sort of steeper increase than the others. So for a ta uh, task one answer, uh, your first paragraph um, should be your paraphrase. And then you should have your overview of the trends. Okay, so what were the, so I'm usually I mean sort of the two main ideas that are shown in this data. And then in your first paragraph, um, detail paragraph, you should give me your detail one. And then in the second one, uh, detail two. Okay, so we've got to, by looking at this, think about how you want to divide up the information. Okay, so the main takeaway from this is that local calls have started to decline. Uh, national and internationals have uh, steadily risen over the period and there was a huge increase in mobile. So I would probably put um, local in body one and then I would put... Uh, mobile um, and national and international in body two because you can have two increasing and then one increase in decline so you can kind of split it up like that so let's take a look and see what this candidate's done the bar graph depicts the total number of billions minutes of telephone calls by local fixed line national international fixed line and mobiles between 1995 and 2002 okay so they've tried to paraphrase the information but the order, they've tried to mix up the order that the information is given in, and it kind of just makes it confusing. The bar graph is the total number of telephone calls by billions of minutes in fixed line, national, international fixed line, and mobiles. And in between, you could say over a seven-year period. Maybe you could paraphrase that a little bit if you wanted to. Okay, so it's just the order that the information has been given in that's a little bit strange. Okay, so you've got a paraphrase. A paraphrase is okay, but it's not the strongest paraphrase I've seen. Next, you've got, at the beginning of the period, which is in 1995, local calls marked at 72 billion minutes, which was the most used. Do we have a... Okay, so I think this isn't the overview. I think this is the first detail paragraph, perhaps, because this looks like detail here. I, I don't know if this is the overview. Um, it is clear that the number of local calls gradually increased until 1999 and peaked at 90 billion minutes in 1999. However, after this period, so we don't need to say in until 1999 and at 1999, you've repeated the same information twice. The average number of this type this type of call dwindled to 72 billions, billion minutes uh, in 2002, which is the same as the number at the beginning. At the beginning of what? At the beginning of the period. Okay, so I, I don't think this is an overview, okay? So that's what they're really missing. So this is really going to hurt your score if you can't give an overview. So you want to give the sort of general trends and feelings that you've got from this information. So if I was going to give the overview for this, I would say um, overall um, during this period, we can see the gradual decline of the popularity of local calls um, whilst all other types of calls, particularly mobile, those from a mobile phone, increased significantly during this period. OK, so then you've you've given me the overview of what's happening in the data. So that's what's really missing. So I think this is a detail paragraph, but it's not super clear. 
And there's some of these consistent grammatic errors. This next one. Interestingly, the other types, the other types of calls, which are national and international fixed line and mobile, uh, were continuously increasing until 2002. By 1995, the number of these types were, these types of calls were approximately 39 minutes and four minutes in billions, respectively. This this is confusing. Was it 39 in, in billions or four minutes in billions? So it should be, it, you should just be, you just need to write 49 billion minutes. Okay, that's all you need to write to express that. So this can just get a little bit confused about the word order there. Since the average of those types <laughs> those types was increasing steadily, the gap among three categories, the three categories, became smallest in 2002. In addition, during this period, the growth of calls, which are national and international calls, and all calls increased from 38 billion minutes to 62 billion minutes, and from 4 billion minutes to 53 billion minutes, respectively. Okay, so... Um, What's what's confusing to read about this answer is it feels like the candidate's just listing the data that they've got from the graph, okay? So they've taken a, a, a sort of a listing approach, which is very kind of confusing and, and boring to read. So what you really need to have at the start of each paragraph, the same as uh, task two, is you need to have a strong topic sentence. Okay, well, you tell me what detail you're going to give me in this paragraph. Um, so this is this is okay. So we've got okay increasing. So then you're going to give me the data about the increase. Um, but it's just it's just too 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 much and too listy the information they give him. Let's look at the conclusion. Overall, it can be seen that the average of local calls, um, that the average. We, oh, so was the most used throughout the period. So it can be seen from the average um, number of minutes spent on local calls that this was the most used uh, method throughout the period. Okay, it's again, be more, they need to be more specific in the sentences. In contrast, the growth of international mobile calls continued increasing over in the, the entire period. Whereas those, those of local calls started to decline in 1999. So the conclusion is actually, is, is okay. This could kind, this should really be the the overview this should go before the detail okay you don't need a conclusion for task one you need an overview so what this candidate has done is they put their overview at the end of their essay so what would it get so task achievement i think you they do have an overview but it's at the end and they've treated it like a conclusion which is weird um so they've, they've kind of attempted to address and analyze the task, but in a very messy, confusingly written way. Um, so I probably give it a five, uh, five for task achievement. Coherence and cohesion, probably a five. They have tried to use paragraphs. They've tried to have specific points addressed in specific paragraphs, but it, it's not very well structured. Uh, the vocabulary, again, is, is, is okay, but not, not correctly used. The billions of minutes and so on. Um, and the grammar is also makes it quite difficult to understand. Okay, so probably an overall 5.0. Uh, maybe I could see it going a little bit further down if they're a bit more strict on the vocabulary and the grammar, because that was really what was letting this, um, this candidate down. They had understood the graph. They were able to give me some good, correct information about the graph. However, the real issue was that the, the structure of their sentences and the way they were phrasing their sentences uh, was making it far too confusing um, to, to fully read and understand.